Hey YouTubers, this your boy Amari Points here bringing you a new Netflix movie review. So today I'm doing my newest movie review on the newest Netflix original movie, The Main Event. And as you know, yes, it's a wrestling movie that WWE did. And it's about this boy named Leo who is being raised by his grandmother and his dad who has dreams of being a WWE superstar. And also, also, and he finds this mask in this, in this house, in this house that has magical powers and gives him this, gives him super strength, super speed, like any other super, like anyone else, and the ability to have him have a really deep voice so and he finally auditions for WWE but they don't but the people who run the audition doesn't know he's a little kid so the mask kinda helps him do, uh, do that so we see a lot of familiar WWE superstars in this movie such as Otis, The Miz, Kofi Kingston and many more that you will definitely enjoy, especially if you're a WWE super super fan. And honestly, when I watched this movie, I was really into it. I am a huge WWE uh, fan. I've been one since 2008. And this is a movie that I really did enjoy so much. I literally thought it was going to be a huge disappointment, but after the movie started rolling, it really picked up a lot. Though I do have a few problems with it, which I will discuss later on in the video. But all in all, this just this is just a movie where the main message is to always be yourself and never give up on your dreams. The kid that played Leo, he was just hilarious and funny I enjoyed I enjoyed seeing him on the screen with joy seeing him on the screen he is just a cute little kid and and we honestly we honestly get to relate to his story like most people who are raised by single parents want to see like see like uh, where their where their other parents are and why aren't they in their life his dad he works on the car trying to like avoid talking to Leo about his mother so yeah his grandmother tries to his grandmother tries to push his father and to talking about his, talking about Leo about about his mother but he just continues to like push push the subject away so that's kind of like one just that's kind of like one of my negatives that I'll get into but honestly, the rest of the WWE superstars, if you honestly are a huge fan, we see we see a lot of funny, interesting segments in the movie, especially with Leo fighting Otis. That was just hilarious. And he farted Otis farting in right in the audience's face. I was kind of like saying ew at first, but I found that somewhat hilarious. Otis is just one of those funny guys that honestly is just, it's just one of those people that is, it's just one of those funny guys that you'll enjoy being around. He looks like he's a real funny guy. Otis, I don't know if you'll watch this, but amazing job in this movie, man. You were great. You were great, and the wrestler, and the wrestler he had, he he became close friends with. I think he was called Mr. Smooth. I can't remember the wrestler's name, but he's an actual real WWE superstar. I can't remember his name. I do apologize, but all in all, the rest of the cast was phenomenal, and and everything else, and at, and especially seeing the Miz in this movie too. He is just one of those people. That is just funny and hilarious, along with Kofi Kingston. Uh, his grand, uh, Leo's grandmother has kind of like a thing for him, and it was just hilarious seeing like how like 
how like his grandmother met Kofi and she wanted to like faint. I could tell. I don't want to go into much spoilers into this movie. I can't tell you when she met him, but you'll see how she met up with Kofi soon enough. Anyway, the rest of the movie was just phenomenal and there were some parts of the movie that I didn't really enjoy that much, but still I had a good laugh with this movie, especially with The Miz, Kofi Kingston, and of course Seamus. Seamus, as most of you saw, is the guest referee. Seamus, if you're watching this too, along with Kofi and Miz, you guys were awesome in this movie. I'm hoping to see you guys in the future doing more interesting stuff like this because I want to see, I want to see more of that. I want to see more interesting dope original Netflix movies that have WWE superstars in them because honestly I'm, I'm, I'm down for that maybe maybe we'll get another one who knows we might nope we can never be too careful we can't but all in all like I say guys this is just a, fa a great family movie that teaches you how to just be yourself and never be anyone else never be anyone else just like the saying, be real, be you. Like I'm wearing now, be real and be you. And honestly, that's the, that's just about, that's basically the main point of this movie is to just be yourself and never try to be someone. You need this and this, your heart. And that's something I think Leo learned in, in this movie and he'll remember for a very long time and there's this one giant dude, Samson, he doesn't really talk. I think that's just basically his character, or he probably just, in general, doesn't talk. Because he was real scary, and honestly, it seems like he was one of those people that, honestly, would crush you in an instant. He really would. And that was a way of saying, never mess with him. Ever. But, uh, but... It was still a good movie. It was still a good movie. It was full of interesting moments that you'll definitely want to enjoy, want to check out and enjoy, especially if you're a huge WWE fan like myself. Check it out if you are interested in seeing a great, a great Netflix slash WWE original movie. Trust me, you won't you won't be disappointed. And on to the positives and negatives. First off are the positives. The number one positive is that the cast itself, they seem like they have really good chemistry in this movie right when the movie started. And that's what a good film needs. Good chemistry between the, between the cast. And that is just something I really did enjoy. Also, we get to see like we get to see them have like a really fun interesting time with each other and a bunch of other stuff as well that is just things that people that people really should understand about movies like this always have good chemistry with the cast and never and never bad chemistry and also the second positive is seeing all these WWE superstars I mean really all these superstars in one movie together how cool is that it really is a great movie that honestly you will want to check out especially after hear seeing all these WWE superstars I was honestly geeking out like a little kid which is uh, really happens and honestly that is just really interesting this, it was really interesting and fun to see all these superstars together in one movie. Even if even if some of them didn't have that much screen time. I will get to that in a minute. And another positive is like, well, Leo's grandmother, the actress that plays her, she was funny and interesting to watch. She made me laugh and I couldn't help but laugh at her. She is just so funny and appealing. And that is just, that was just... Uh, hilarious I loved how she just like is a huge WWE superstar fan like her grandson is and on to the negatives first off 
the first negative is that Otis, it seems like he didn't really get that much screen time because he is a huge WWE superstar too and I wanted to see more of him in this movie. It could have been better if he got more screen time instead of just having little screen time because I wanted to see him and like Leo have like a little interesting talk backstage and and joking around with each other. That's something I really wanted to see a lot. Guys, next movie. Give mo oh, oh, my boy Otis more screen time. He deserves it. He honestly deserves screen time. I believe that. He, you better give him more screen time. The honestly second negative is that large dude Samson. He doesn't really talk, but it would have been good to have him talk and he has this fear of heights and honestly I get that everyone has fear of heights but still he seemed fearless and they kind of like made him like a straight punk after seeing he had fear of heights honestly honestly they should have worked more on that that's honestly that's honestly something they should have worked on and and I think that I think that that really needed some work. It could have been better. And another negative is Leo's dad. He honestly seemed like he didn't really want... To, it seemed like he really wasn't into his role like he wanted to be. That's something I that needed work too. Because if you're not really into the role, you're not really... You're not really interested in the role. You're not really interested in the role at all. And that's it for my positives and negatives. On to the rating, I give the main event a solid B+, plus because I did enjoy it, but honestly there were some characters like Otis that didn't get that much screen time in this movie, which I think that needed work on. And also, it was nice to see that these, these characters and Leo, he was just a, little, a fun little kid. Who accomplished their dreams and he proved to everyone like he has to be himself and never change anything about him and I all I can tell you is that and another thing is that he was the other the main characters all of them were phenomenal except for like the dad and everything like I said earlier he really needed to get in his role he really should and that's it for my movie review, guys. Don't forget to like, comment down below on what you thought of the movie. Subscribe and share with everyone you know. Press the little notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next movie review is going to be. I will see you all later. Take care and God bless. And remember, be real and be you. Peace.